Hello there, returning subscribers. I'm Black Bright News. If it's the first time you're passing through, you can find me on TikTok under Loy1952. And you can find me here on TikTok. I just tend to give a quick snapshot within one minute of any particular topic. And here I go more in depth. I shouldn't really tell you that because those who have a short attention span might just go to TikTok. But anyway, um, you're not going to get all the details that you need on TikTok. It's just really like a flash headline. Um, so today, what I wanted to talk about was VPNs. And that is because someone on TikTok uh, mentioned that VPNs were being withdrawn. And I don't have a VPN. I never really thought about getting one. But well, after reading up on it, I thought to myself, hmm, it might not be a bad idea. The only thing is, is that with VPNs, we automatically assume we are protected. And I, I'm not quite sure whether or not, if you've got nothing to hide, whether you need a VPN. Most people use VPNs for like researching it might be for um, online banking, shopping, that kind of stuff. Um, but the thing is, is that if you inadvertently go on a website in your research that you're not meant to go, it can, it can actually incriminate you. So VPNs are supposed to protect you from um, being tracked, basically. But the thing is, is that like with anything, um, England the UK is the, I think is one of the most, um, you know, what they call it, surveillance states in the Western world, the UK. And under the investigatory, under the investigatory powers, investigatory powers, um, act 2016, they are still allowed to access any, any, um, online activity you've been on. Even if you have a VPN, if that VPN provider is in the UK, if it's not in the UK and they're not governed by the UK laws, then that's fine. But sometimes people don't realize that VPNs are only as good as maybe the company they are, the reputation they have, and where they're located. So it would be useful. And on top of that, some people use VPNs for illegal or less favorable practices um like some people want to use it for netflix because they don't want netflix to know how many um devices they're attached to um netflix has banned anybody using vpns the same with amazon and um a bbc iplayer they've all banned nord vpn so um and some sites you're going to have difficulty getting on if you've got NordVPN. But NordVPN is supposed to be the best one. Not only is it based outside the UK and therefore is a little bit more expensive, but apparently it is, it is a rated as one of the best out of the top 10. So I'm not here to advertise NordVPN, by the way. It's just really that we're talking about VPNs and what they can do and how effective they are. They're only effective if you're allowed to use them. Now, they are, in, they are legal to use, even though they hide your identity. Um, and like I said, it all depends what you're using the VPN for. I mean, if you're using it for cyberbullying, um, hounding someone, um, you know, it's like stalking that kind of thing or going on to the dark web, then of course, what's illegal when you don't have a VPN is also illegal when you do have a VPN. So VPNs, for me, I thought about getting a VPN, for me, more to do with being tracked by advertisers mind you it doesn't even stop you i mean 99 percent, although between 90 and 99 percent of the um of the internet is encrypted um and once again even though it's encrypted if the police decide that they want to get some information it can be decrypted isp providers those are internet service providers are mandated to give um, the police and intelligence services your information so don't think you can get out of it just because you've got a VPN. You can't, unless, like I said, the VPN is um, from an outside, from a country outside the UK. 
So um, for, for me, if I had a VPN, it would be because I just don't like the feeling that you got these advertise, advertisements that are always um, tracking you. You go to buy something, next thing you, you see on your screen. Um, and also, I guess because I research a lot, I guess I would be more inclined to um, want to be a bit more careful because, like I said, sometimes I go on websites and I'm not sure whether or not they can incriminate me. So for things like that, I think I should have a VPN and I'm going to invest in one, actually. But I, I'm not quite sure um, what other benefit is other than if you literally don't like the idea of third parties knowing what you're doing. I think most of us don't know because if you're online or if you're surfing, you don't want to know that there's somebody watching you what you're doing, whether what you're doing is innocent or not. As far as you're concerned, it's your transaction between yourself and your PC and the person you're buying your stuff from. You don't want to know that there's somebody out there, you know, with a little camera or whatever that is they use checking on what you're doing and documenting it and all that kind of stuff you don't really want that so if you're inclined not to want to be tracked or not what you don't want anybody to be reporting on which websites you're um, accessing then of course a vpn is for you anyway um that's the summary as you know i go to my notes so i don't say anything so in a world where we are seeking to protect ourselves and our data, is it really possible to do that with VPNs? The UK government has the authority to mass monitor any electronic communication of its citizens because of the Investigatory Powers Act passed in 2016. Anytime you use a British ISP, be it in the home, in a hotel or on your mobile, they have a legal obligation, this is the ISP, the Internet Service Provider, have a legal obligation to log every website you visit and every online service you use, and they must keep that information for a year. Now, NordVPN, they actually um, stopped their services in India because they were told they had to keep document information on their um, clients for up to five years so they banned from india and they withdrew all their services anyway during that year that's the one year um, up to 48 uk authorities may request without a warrant to access those isp logs in other words they can investigate what you have been up to on the internet whenever they please within that within that year Ordinarily, you wouldn't be bothered. You are just researching, browsing, banking and or buying. But some of your browsing history could incriminate you and you might not even be aware of it. Like you might click on a link by accident and it happens to be some terrorist link or goodness knows what or some pornographic or dark web. And, you know, already that information is going to be linked to you. And yeah, you could get yourself in trouble because of that. And you didn't even mean to do it. So that is how you can be protected by a VPN. If you live in the UK or wish to access any content from the country, alwaysvpn.com recommends using a secure VPN to safeguard your personal data or data, depending on where you're coming from. I noticed a comment, oh, like I said, I noticed a comment in one of my TikTok vlogs that said that the government is putting an end to VPNs, but I couldn't find anything to substantiate that. Police and intelligence agency have powers and legal authority to hack into computers, smartphones, tablets, and other electronic devices as they deem fit. And internet, and internet service providers are obligated to help them with the, those efforts, as well as capture and decrypt data or data. Britain is the most extreme surveillance state in the Western world. I didn't even know that. Data collection is legal and ISPs are mandated to monitor and log all online activities. 
wonder what it is the UK think they're missing. What are they looking for? I mean, it can't just be terrorists. I mean, to have everybody under such severe surveillance, what is it that they're looking for? Any ideas? Anyway, VPNs are used for privacy and control of your data and yourself. VPNs allow you to get around geofences, which are virtual geographic boundaries defined by GPs and RFID technology. So, you know, like sometimes um, you go on a website, like I went to buy a prescription for something and it says, oh, this is not allowed in your from your country. That's what you call geofencing. That prohibits you from accessing certain sites, services or content at your current location. A VPN might be useful to connect to company networks remotely, although most companies set up their own VPN servers. VPN can also serve as protection from journalists if you are a celebrity or anything that puts your physical or digital safety at risk. VPNs are legal to use in the UK, well for now, but some countries like China, Russia and Iran discourage or restrict their use and have banned them in their countries. It is interesting that VPNs are legal in the UK despite the British police and intelligence agency having unprecedented access to your information and online activities. This is because VPN providers in the UK are mandated to cough up information about you. If you pick a VPN provider that operates out of the UK, they still fall under the auspices of the Investigatory Powers Act. So as long as they're out of the UK, as long as, well, should we say in the UK, but it, out of the UK, same thing. Um, Nord P NordVPN is based outside the UK and therefore is not beholden, but due to improper DNS server configuration, it often stops working. And to get NordVPN working in the UK properly, you have to configure your device manually, which may not be an easy task for, for non-techies. Surfshark is based outside the UK, but it does have UK offices. It all depends on what you are doing and what you're trying to hide from others. NordVPN closed its prison. Oh, I already said that. Um, NordVPNs do not work with BBC iPlayer because it's been blocked by the BBC. Amazon and Netflix have also blocked NordVPN because it is against their service guidelines. It's really interesting that a company like Amazon would block NordVPN, which definitely means they really need to know what you are buying, what you're interested in. But I would have thought they would know that just by your purchase choices. But who am I? So what? where did I get up to now? Using a VPN is not illegal, even though they hide your identity online. However, a VPN does not change the legal status of any online activity you might perform. If it is legal without a VPN, it is legal with a VPN. Likewise, if it's illegal without a VPN, it is illegal with a VPN. For example, you can't pirate copyrighted material. You can't buy and sell on the dark web. You can't hack or stalk or cyber bully anyone. You need to be careful of which VPN provider you choose because, like I said, if the provider is within the UK, they are mandated to give up your information. And just suppose you're trying to hide from the police or intelligence for whatever reason, you're defeating the purpose if your VPN provider is in the UK because the police, all the police have to do is go up to them and say, look, we want this information about this criminal. And it's they have to give it to them. So other options instead of a VPN, they've got something called TOR. It's a free browser protocol that anonymizes your online activities and makes it difficult to track you. They've got enable DNS over HTTPS 
in the browser to foil tracking logs, but that doesn't seem to be available on Windows 11. You can use your mobile data connection instead of public Wi-Fi when using your phone as a hotspot for other devices. You can set up a private VPN server on your high end of your gaming router or flash a cheap router with free firmware like DD-WRT or Tomato or Tomato. So laptops and mobile services or mobile devices can use your secure home broadband connection while out of the house. Sounds very, very technical. Don't know about that. Commercial VPN services make it easier. Chester Wisniewski, principal research scientist with security firm Sophos and Tomsguide.com was the inspiration behind this video. The amount of power we give to big tech companies is astounding. So while some techies claim you can ditch your VPN because of the widespread use of encryption that has made public internet connection less of a security threat, there are still those who believe that by using a VPN, i.e. a virtual private network, you improve online privacy and guarantee the security of data in transit across an untrusted network. So advantages of using a VPN include enabling legacy systems to work remotely, providing a second layer of defense against misconfigured, unpatched or poorly designed internal services, double dutch to me, uh, providing internal network services, sorry, providing internal network servers from external unauthenticated attackers, bit double dutch, um, protecting user devices from network attacks. I understand that. Forcing traffic between a device and external services through internal protective monitoring tool. Mm -hmm. Enabling business monitoring and or filtering of users network traffic. So now you can decide whether or not a VPN is for you or whether you'll just keep on doing what you've been doing for the last few years or how many years you've been using your PC or your laptop. Like I said, if you don't want to feel as though what you're doing is um, being watched and monitored, then you get a VPN. But it's a bit like when they say, oh, you know, if you've got nothing to hide, what are you worried about? I don't think it's about if you've got nothing to hide. I think it's about your relationship with who you're interacting with. It's just like if you tell a friend a secret and you've only told that friend, you're relying on that friend to keep that secret. But if you told that secret in a big room, somebody else could overhear it and then that secret is no longer a secret. It's a bit like when you're using the internet. You know, you use that, you use the internet because you believe it's just you and the internet have that relationship. When you're buying on Amazon or you're buying on, um, um, you're buying something from Wallace or um, what are these big stores? Uh, they've all gone out of my head. I have any one of these stores that you buy online. You you assume that you when you're um, purchasing something, putting it in your basket, and that you're buying something, that relationship or that transaction is between you, your PC, and the end user, which is Amazon. You don't want to believe that you've got all these eyes watching what you're doing. And I think whether you've got something to hide or not, it's just like, it's just you just want to have that transaction made with you and the end user and your PC or your laptop or your phone is the intermediary which helps you to do that, which facilitates you to do that. So I can understand why people would want to use VPNs because that is the relationship they expect. And so that is the relationship they're willing to pay for. And I think I'm going to stop there. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.